The Jackie Robinson story, I want to wait because, you know, we've already know we already know about his story. Um, mainly because it, it's been so passionately known that he's one of the barnstormers for the beginning of uh, the beginning of the Negro League. So works out. I want to save that one for later because I know there's some other stories involved and I know that uh, him being in Montreal was part of it as well. So, but I want to talk, I want to go into where the, we have the original, basically the original owner of the Negro leagues here, Rube Foster. This is the other one I wanted to look at. So we're basically going to get the same. Andrew Foster, AKA. Same Rube. side of the story Did here. Rube Foster without question the greatest baseball mind this sport has ever seen and virtually no one knows anything about it even though he is rightfully enshrined in the national baseball hall of fame Ruth foster is that rare baseball personality that would have checked all three boxes in terms of hall of fame credential oh yeah he would have gone in the hall of fame as a pitcher as a manager and as an executive but Foster was best known as this visionary, this tremendous leader. He would organize the Negro Leagues in a meeting held in Kansas City, Missouri at the Paseo YMCA on February 13, 1920. He would rally eight independent black baseball team owners together. And somehow or another, he convinced them that in order for black baseball to succeed, they needed an organized body. Rube will become president of the Negro Leagues. Okay. Rube Foster arguably is the most influential person in baseball history, simply for what he did in forming the Negro Leagues. Cool. Like I said, it's great to learn about all these little stories here about everyone. We are the ship, all else the sea. So in other words, you're the guy to light through the whole thing. So pitch three innings and don't give up a run. This should be fun. Love those jerseys though. All right, let's get to her here. Here's the shortstop at the play, Perry. So we got a screwball, a forkball, a sinker. A s Obviously, that's the most common pitch, so let's try her. That pitch gets the corner. Screwball. Here this afternoon. I like Foster. He's got no nonsense on his delivery, so. Foster comes to the plate. Out to center, McDonald should have this Just one. Just catch it. And it's caught for the out. Seeing you, Ruth Foster, he was such a mastermind both on and off the field. He reportedly was running a baseball team while he was still in grade school. So that gives you some idea of his drive. And it's fouled away. Just want to see what all my pitches look like here. Intense upbringing with his dad, a presiding elder in their church, really instilled a sense of discipline and purpose in the Rube, and that translated into how he ran his teams. Do we get the K out of this here with a fastball up? Nope. Next offering is fouled back. Rube really did have a serious focus on fundamentals and organization, presenting that professional front, and one that's one thing he's remembered for. Just wait till so Satchel Page, yeah. I I want to see some of these other players. Like I know everybody's going for Satchel, everybody's going for Jackie. Going but like a guy like Rube and a guy a like uh player talked about how his Giants Like we got Martin really DeHigo now. Uniforms. That made them look more like a National League or American League team than one that was going barnstorming. Slings for me, I, I like using the players that don't get mentioned enough. Like that's a lot of the things that 
like for all the work that I do, I always try to remember, you know, remember the people that you're, you're here to give a voice to people that don't really don't have a voice, right? It's a good miss. This is gonna be okay. Thank you. Foster winds and fires. See the Ooh, velocity okay. 97 with that fastball. The right hander oh. gives up the two Wow, the one. control is not there. Runner at first with two away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jackson. Whoa. Next offering Man. is down low. And that is ball one. Next offering is foul back. And let's go with a slurve here. So you can get out of this inning without an issue. There we go. Beautiful. Had him way out front of the slurve. So, Blackfire, you played you played this. How uh, how many of the uh, Negro League guys have you gotten so far? Foster, back to work. I'm assuming maybe you got all of them. Catch it. Dang. All right. Not the best place to put it, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot to give you that. The wind of the pitch. Oh. The mark there. And that's how this game gets started. Next offering there we go. Nice control time. there. Foster comes to the plate. Yeah, that's outside. How did you not swing at that? You already have swung there. Come on. The next pitch misses. And now three and one. Foster winds and fires. And now it's filled up. Helpful. That one out to right. Smith under this one. That's okay. I just want to give him sudden easy to hit to catch up on there so at the play Sanders and first offering is fouled off I've yet to play it saving somebody oh okay now the one well th the thing about me is I didn't pay a dime for the game it's on game pass so I'm I, I know that you got P PSN's in your name of course so what uh, I'm not crazy but I managed to pick it up on the Xbox because I knew that uh, this one high in the air to left center. If I'm gonna like a game like this, makes a nice running. I, I don't mind for putting some money now. into stubs and whatnot. Because uh, San Diego is gonna get my money one way or the other. It just it's gonna be in currency instead. Ford stands oh, in with two away as he takes a ball. And if I get enough money here, next pitch downstairs, and that's ball two. The heck, I can't get a strike against this guy. The two -oh Thank you. In for a strike. Two -oh, one strike. Got a big swing and a miss. <laughs> two down, nobody on. Goes there we go. Swinging for the strikeout. Nasty fourth ball for strike three. That was weird. I, I was, I thought I was going to get a little bit more trouble out of that. And welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Jackson. The pitch. There's a strike. Next offering is fouled back. Come on, baby. Let's see a swing. 
punishes ah. outside <laughs> ball one. There we go. Another K in the book. Now it's the right fielder, Bradley. Stare him off with a fastball here, then we'll go to the screwball. Lefty Bradley. Oh and two. And we'll go with the fork ball here. Bradley waits. Got him. Back One thing I love about these Negro League pitchers, they have five pitches. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, West. And that's in there for strike one. Monte West. Strong as a bull. Let's get a sinker in there, see what happens. Oh, that's a base hit. Nope. Taylor makes Ice. the catch. And Two down. Welcome back. And here is Sutton. Foster back to work. Fun attempt. Popped up. And puts ha! the squeeze on that. Foster Gotta love the screwball getting getting the caught third. there. Come on! Yeah, pinching me there up. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey. That's a strike. And the count one and two. And let's go to the sinker here. Try and get him to swing it something harder. Now let's bring it up. It's one thing about baseball, and I even notice it as a hitter. You change the eye level a lot like that. And you're not going to have any problems getting people out sometimes. There you go. See, you go high, you go low, change it around, change your angles. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Drake. Always got to be careful of these pitchers in the Negro League. Because... Pitchers know how to hit. The 1 0 from Foster. He swings and fouls one off. Just like I said, they know how to hit. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a high fly ball. Catch that. Thank Makes you. The grab and that's the inning. One down. <laughs> All right, Rube's fade away. No, we get to learn about the fade away. I heard stories about this, but. Rube Foster is believed to have created what we now know to be the screwball. Back then it was called a fade away and Rube perfected this pitch. So much so that the great Major League manager, John McGraw, would sneak Rube into his camp so that Rube Foster could teach Christy Matheson how to throw the screwball. Nice. Christy Matheson threw the pitch all the way into the National Baseball Hall of Fame that he learned from Rube Foster. So do we have to get people struck out based on the screwball or something here? Because that, that to me would just scare the hell out of me, to be honest. All right, let's see this. See, you're getting it, son. You're getting it. I like that. I like that. 
Strike out one batter and pitch two innings. All right, we got this. All right, ready to go here. Now the left fielder, Harvey. Oh, shit. Okay. And a pitch. Rube's got some different pitches now. This to third, and it goes Apple just foul. foul. Foster comes to the plate. Ball one. Oh, all we got are the fade pitches. Okay. So we're all about positioning here. And a count one and two. The fadeaway more popularly associated with Christy Matthewson, but today we get to see Rube Foster, the man who- There's the, there's the K I needed. Swings through it for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. So digging in, Marshall. So basically we got to pitch two innings, we got to change up and we got a uh seems to be tough for batters to pick up. Why is that? Well, for one thing, Boo, you just don't see it very often. And yeah, Rube was a master of it, but not a lot of pitchers throw a screwball these days, so you don't get much practice with it. I like this. This is a nice little little change in uh Foster winds it fire. Change it set up, set up here. Too high. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Looked off balance that time. Of course, the screwball became very popular after Rube's playing career, but it's way less common now. Still there we go. Pitchers like Fernando Valence That's impressive. From it. But you just got to make sure you place your pitches all the right spots, baseman, right? Reese. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. Oh, and one. Man, Rube's fadeaway is exactly how you want to throw a screwball. It's so slow. It's tempting for a hitter, but it's also so hard to time up and make good contact. Oh, and he so you throw the changeup out of the way here. Ball one. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. The one, two. Swing and a ball popped up. Glass. I got the one K. That's all that matters right there. So. Let's just get get through this next inning here. We can move on to uh, one of our and other challenges part, here. And here is Bell. The right-hander back to work. That's and the first one. pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. All guts, no glory. Foul ball. His eyes got big. He saw that changeup way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Hard ground. Nice ball. hit. Nice hit. Should have went with the change up there. He was all over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Taylor stands in now and watches strike one. It's a good change up to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Got there we go. Foster gets the strike out with that That's one. Fade away. Now the catcher up to hit Gardner. Mm -hmm. First pitch and he just misses. Damn. Thought I was going to get that one there. Oh. Next offering misses. Two and oh. Two and oh. That one in there across the letters. Hey. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stand on that double play. Next pitch is outside. 
Foster kicks and deals. Foul. We'll see another Damn. playoff pitch. Thought I could get that one. There we go. There we go. Nice K. Stepping in, Hunter. from Foster bounce to the right side and he that'll be it his own, and that is that nice little piece of accomplishment there you can show how much of a dominant pitcher he was he earned his nickname Rue as a youngster there from Calvert Texas when he beat the great major leaguer Rube Waddell in a head-to-head -head matchup, and the nickname stuck. He also had the full repertoire to go along with this unique pitch that he created called back then a fadeaway. And so, yeah, Rube doesn't get nearly enough credit for having been one of the most dominant pitchers in black baseball history. So basically, he he got his nickname by beating somebody. So this is like the ultimate story of to be a man, you got to beat, beat the man, right? Strike out two batters, pitch three innings, do not walk a batter. Okay. So we're basically doing pitching throughout entire, Rube's entire uh, run here, now, which is fine by me. A white guy in the Negro Leagues? Okay. The wind of the pitch. That misses. And away we go That's this afternoon. Enough. I guess they were they just wanted the best players to play, so that makes a lot of sense actually if you think about it. Next pitch is outside. Most of Rube Foster's career was with the Chicago American Giants, but he was a dominant force on the mound even before that. All Next right, let's misses. go. And now three and one. In 1903, Rube pitched four games for the Cuban X Giants against the Philadelphia Giants in a championship series. He went four and zero, oh, all complete games, and gave up just three earned runs. The three two. Oh. Is well, if I'm gonna do it, I might as well do it on the first that. hitter, right? I didn't think there'd be a single reason why I should get that All right, ready tight to get on, those, on the count now, here. Terry. And a pitch. Strike one. Oh, one's the count. Way well, high. Hmm. One and one. Foster comes to the plate. Strike two. One ball. That was not exactly accurate, but we'll take it. And Rube's I'll take one. Cole, the next to hit. winds and fires this one chopped on the ground but foul now let's see if he can handle the fork ball and the 0-2 from Foster went oh, too one. far that time it's one and two I'm just gonna get him up top then oh never mind no score just getting started top of the first Two and two. Oh, I wanted that one. Rube there we go. The there's two. Down. All right, so now I just have to get three Next innings in. Yeah. Oh, and one. 
All right, let's see what else we got here. We got sinker. Next one is off the play, and now it's even one and one. Strike. That was at the knees. Let's go up higher to fish off. Got it. Boom. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. So now I just got to get two more innings in and not, not give up a walk or a run. And welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Parker. Why is it always the intimidating first baseman are always named Parker? If you go back to Major League, the, the name of the first baseman for the Yankees was Parker. Check swing, went around. One one. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count is 0-2. I don't even want to give him anything in the strike zone. All right, we'll take it. Not where I wanted it, but we'll take it anyway. Now at the plate. That one sliced foul. Okay, let's. And the righty deals. That misses off the outside. Ah, come edge. on. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. So we can get him on our screwball here. Line drive, base hit. That's okay. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Recognize the break on that pitch early, and that allowed him to keep his front shoulder in. You know, it's easy to bail on those front door breaking balls, but a great job right there of letting it travel, then unloading a nice balanced swing. Sure. The next offering is in for a strike. Now, if this works properly, I should get two outs out of this. Oh, come on. Foster kicks and deals. Ground there we go. Right That's what I wanted. Big O. Big O. Ball go. So I don't even care if they score runs. I just can't walk anyone. Okay, I can live with this. Welcome back out of the third inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Everett. The wind of the pitch. And ball one. Oh. one. Next no. pitch inside. All right, ball come two. on. That's Misses with the 2-0. And he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. In for a strike, now three and one. That one is oh, a no. lead off walk. Damn it. Oh, I give us ready to go now. <sighs> and now the right fielder. I Aaron. hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. But that happens. The pitch. Especially on these pitching ones. That's in there. And we're underway. Like you screw up hitting, okay, fine. It'll do a little bit, but. Next offering is in for a strike. Foster comes to the plate. And Rube sets him down for the K. All righty, one down. Two hitter, Cole. Oh. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. And the next pitch is way outside. Where the hell did that come from? Foster winds and fires. And that one missing low. There's a strike three and one. That's in there. I got three and two. If all I have to do is not strike out or not. Uh... And that one handled. 
to first. Two away I forgot how to do the, the uh, do the fielding for the fielders. That scared me a little bit. Because I'm not, I, I regularly don't play Road to the Show, so that, that's like Road to the Show stuff, right? Silly out there. The one one. Foul ball. Kicks and deals. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Riding to the plate. Two balls, two strikes. Come on, you gotta swing this. There you go. Another strikeout. All right, two more innings of this. Let's Back go. Here the ballpark, top of the second, and now the first baseman, Parker. Foster back to work. And there's the strike. Next pitch has popped up. There we go. And there's one away. Two down. Well, one down. Sorry. In the second. Now that's ball one. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Hey. Next offering nice. is in for a strike. Like I said, I got the strike counts out of the way, so all I got to do is literally get him to not walk anyone. Next offering is fouled back. The 2-2. Two -two. Fouls it back with two strikes. Line drive. Snags it. For Thank you. Out. I wasn't giving you anything that was going to be out of the strike zone because I'm not giving up. We're not going to go anything stupid here with three balls on me here. Here we go. With two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. And he takes a strike. Stick a fork in him. He's done. Ah! Down low. One and two to count. All right. We'll just throw it right down the middle and see what you do with it. Okay, one more inning to go here, and then we get past this stage here. This is the guy that cost me the last time. Foster, back to work. Oh, one down. And strike two. Oh, and two. Next one offering ball. in the dirt. Now one and two. Thought I could find some way to get a nice little. Uh... Hey. All right. One away. And now the center fielder, Adams. Swing and a foul straight back. You guys are supposed to get ground outs for me here. Like, seriously, what's going on? is in for a strike one ball two strikes stick a fork at him he's done the punch out there back to back strike ha! no emotion whatsoever two from anybody on that one here's the pitcher Raymond that one's in there on one so I literally just have to get through this inning without you know walking him Here's a chance to strike out the side right here with the pitcher at the dish. Just got to go right after this guy. Don't waste any pitches. There we go. And a miss struck him out. Uh, pitch two innings, do not give up a run. All right. Let's get to this here.
We go to the top of the fifth. Fortunately, the I have to do some it. extra work when I'm not at work, so that's what ended up happening there. Sorry about that, everyone. Now, this is a pretty incredible stat. In 1905, Rube Foster pitched in 55 games. He won 51 of them. Ball one. First offering in the dirt. Makes you wonder when somebody wins 51 of 55 games. Check swing went around. You try to figure out whether... You wonder if the caliber of the game was that good. And this one misses, and it's two and one. one. Swings through that one. Foster comes to the plate. Down on there we go. Strikes, and now one away. Don't need to get and any strikeouts or anything special. Just need to keep the runs off the board, right? We're up three to nothing. Let's just keep it that way. Next offering misses. Really? Two balls, no strikes to count. Come on, buddy. Let's go. And yeah, there's a ball. ball. Come on, Rube. And the 3-0 finds the zone. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Three and two. Here's Foster with the payoff pitch. Swings there we go. It's a strikeout. That's how you fight Gets yourself back right from 3 0. And here's the first baseman, Reese. That hits the dirt, and it's 1 0. Next pitch misses, and it's 2 0. No strike. Next offering is fouled back. So you can get a screwball down. Next oh. offering is in the dirt. Three balls, one strike. Good plate That's appearance. Damn. Able to take All the right. Walk. Two outs, one, one run on. Next, Bell, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Ah. In there in its own one. Ernie Bell and the Iowa Barnstormers. Foster kicks and deals. Ball. Good idea. Yeah. One and one. Next That's offering ball. upstairs. Two balls, one strike. Take the two and two. And let's go for the screwball. Finish this off. Kicks and fires. In the dirt, blocked, and the runner holds. Should have went with the fork ball. I'll take it though. All right, we got one inning in, no runs. Welcome Just gotta get one more uh, here, and we'll be uh, and grooving and rooving here. Taylor. Grooving and Ruben, I guess, would be the way to put it. And he deals. Yeah. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. And Still a fork Foster. action in here. Stays alive. Ooh, nice. Foster winds and fires. Ah. And now one and two. A little fork action inside. Let's see if he doesn't get around on this. Next nope. pitch misses That's inside. Good. And it's two and two. Left hand batter. Ah, I want a fastball. Whoops. And that just misses. There's one satchel page there that's pretty unique. Well, that's and that chance handled. Gets it to first, oh. and that's one out. Without spoiling, you know it when you get six. to it. Yeah. I, I don't know if satchel might be one of those I wait on right now. It's like I was mentioning earlier. I like to get to these players that 
a lot of people don't know about. Oh yeah, my god. That That's a Mikey swing right there. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings and misses. That's the kind of swings I'd be taking. Hunter will hit next. Okay, Doc. I got one more hitter to get out to get past this seed here, so. The 1 0 from Foster. Swings through that one for strike one. one, ball, one strike. Let's get a fastball in here just to mix things up and speed it up a little bit. Next pitch is inside. Ooh. And it's 2 and 1. Left hand. Take the fork ball. And that one is lifted that should in the do air. her glass couple of steps in no trouble here puts it away for the out and that is that another victory but now we're halfway through this one so hopefully hopefully we get a chance to you know maybe not just pitch every Luke time foster own the chicago american giants and he managed the Chicago American Giants. Okay. And his savviness, his craftiness, his astuteness of the game allowed him and his teams to dominate the early era of black baseball. Rue assembled some of the greatest. Yeah, I do too, Frosty. I love these old uniforms. Where he served as both player and manager. He knew great talent. He knew how to go out and recruit great talent and build the kind of chemistry with that great talent of stars. Thoroughbreds who could flat out get the job done. The other thing I really enjoy about this is how romantic everything sounds. Like it just you can tell that this is a love story to the Negro Leagues here. But these guys telling everybody about every idea that's going on and every uh, scenario as it's happening. Oh we get to hit, we get to hit, we get to hit, we get to hit. Let's Oh, Rube just taking it all in. RBI opportunity here as Foster steps in. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay. In there for nice pitch, long. nice pitch. Fastball change up, curveball. to short Murray over to pick it up not in time to first and, and we got run the run in so the cross. RBI counts and a run comes in the score. not my best work but you know what it'll do it'll do got another bat skin some more money American Giants with third straight pennant so I wonder if we get a scenario with this This might be one of those where it's mostly pitching and everybody just uh, gets the opportunity to... You just get the odd hitting thing in there just to break up the monotony of the pitching. Yep, like I said. One inning, don't give up a run. Gotta love those unis. Gotta love these unis. At least we know what the C and the A stand for now. The, and the, I guess it is a G there, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Now with the plate, Perry. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home. Oh, the he's on third. I can't screw up base. at all here. The pitch. Four. And downstairs. Lifted in the air, right center field. Damn. Racing makes the catch. And yeah, there's one away. And now, Sanders. I'm just trying to get back there to back up. Oh. 
whole one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. A 1 0 from Foster. Foul ball there. Let's try the fork ball in. Trying to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. Again, nice work. Nice work by this this hitter here. Foster comes to the plate. And now it's <laughs> even up. Tried to check his Come swing. on, he went. No, he held up. Here's Foster with the payoff pitch. And he walked him. Damn. Thought I could get him to swing at that. With the tying run and scoring position at the bottom of the ninth, Ford getting ready to hit. Next ball. pitch downstairs. And yeah, that's ball one. one. Next pitch way up that was there. rough. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute. One. One. If you leave something out over the plate. Two. Got them both. <laughs> That's some skill right there. Let's get that DP out of the way. You know, DPs are so great. Exciting style of play. I like this too. All right, let's see if we get some talk here. We get another. As a manager, Rube Foster was known to fine his ball players as much as five dollars at the turn of the early 19. Holy crap! If you were tagged out standing up, you were supposed to slot. Rube would draw a circle down the first base line and a circle down the third base line. And if every one of his players couldn't drop a butt inside the circle, Rube would find them. Oh, you're going to see great baseball. Oh, but yeah, you're going to be thoroughly entertained watching Rube Foster's brand of baseball. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. So do we get the bunting drill here? Steal one base, don't get caught stealing. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Glass. Hey. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, and one. Foster off of first with two away. Now Foster's on the move. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Damn. Out at second. All right. I'm not the best in this. I'm going to have to work on this a little bit more here. Which I, I don't mind this. This is, this is what I've never had to do before. And I like this. Runner at first. Here's the left fielder, Glass. Ball. First pitch just misses. Ball one, no strike. And 
and another ball. Two oh. Now Foster's on the move. Pitch in for a strike. There we go. And he can't dig it out. After you get to a two oh count. Thank you. Goodbye. All that for a jersey. I like this. All right, so we got one more, I think. Rube Foster was adamant about the style of play that would become signature Negro Leagues baseball. Fast, aggressive, daring. They would bump their way off. They would steal second. They would steal third. Yep. And if you weren't too smart, they were stealing home. And this was a brand of baseball that was drawing both black and white fans who were sitting side by side, where during that era of segregation, that was virtually unheard of. Yeah, now Rube was light years ahead of his time. Really excited about this. Like, just the way that he... I... All these things that you just take for granted right now, you see where it's all been created. And it just... It, it's fantastic, if you ask me. Tally two hits, one extra base hit. All right. All right, Rube, I see you. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's gonna be Rube Foster. Rube Foster was such a competitor, he'd do anything to win, including freezing baseballs before games to deaden them. Dribbled up the third baseline, and foul ball. It's a foul ball, I'm okay. Rube, Rube didn't stop there. He turned the field into an advantage as well. He had the groundskeepers soak the dirt Damn. so his hitters could bump for hits, and they even tilted the ground near the foul line so the ball would stay fair. I think that might be for That is cool. That would be cool, dudes. Do little things like that. And a pitch. Here's a rocket out to left. Sanders. The right to that. One pitch and one out. All right, I think I'm going to be doing this one twice. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. But caught makes the catch and that'll do it. Oh, I still got two shots here. Okay, I gotta focus. 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 And nope. the first pitch misses for ball one. Swings and misses. One and one. That one got one caught in my batter's one. eye there. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Just glad I got got that out of my system here. Just tap it along. Just tap it in. I'm fighting, to say the least. I'm at least fighting here. And a one-two again. On the ground to third. And that's going to two. The oh. force out gets him easily ends the inning. All right, well, I'm going to have to do this over again. Which is fine. Perfect, perfect, right in the freaking glove. Damn it. <sighs> like that just, that's just nasty. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. That was nasty and stupid. Now and with one home run already in this inning, 
They're definitely looking to do some more damage. Down the left field line. Could be extra bases. Lead it better be. Second headed for third. Hughes coming home. He will score. And they extend I'll take the triple. And he's in but unfortunately, I'm only going to get one hit here. Well done. Drives in the run. He really smoked this one down. Rube's tired and sore. And once it dropped in fair. All right, so let's let's get this this time. Now the first baseman, Rube Foster. A little bit of focus here. The pitch. He doesn't like the high stuff, so I'm not gonna worry about it a whole lot. Ground ball up the middle. That's there's base your base hit. hit. Get that out of the way. I appreciate that. We got one hit. So now I just got to get the extra base hit out of the way. Miller back to work. Liner base hit. All right. Well, I got my two hits now. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. Bell back to work. There's a strike. It's okay. We got that. We got that. Let that go. And a pitch. Here as he fouls it away. Just got to battle away here and get this one down. Foster, oh, in the air. come Left on, baby. Deep back there. And that one. Thank you. We will take it. And just clear episode eight, we're done. And we just got our card, folks. All right, let's see this here. The Negro Leagues were born out of segregation. And there was a simple mindset behind it. You won't let me play with you in the major leagues, then I'll create my own league. And Rube essentially did what others had attempted to do but they had failed. But Rube had the wherewithal to get it done. And how he convinced those other eight independent black baseball team owners to come together is a true testament to Rube's ability to sell this vision. And that's exactly what they did, having established the Negro National League, the first successful organized black baseball league. Rube Foster stood there and boldly proclaimed we are the ship, all else the sea. He was serving notice to Major League Baseball that a new player had arrived on the scene to be reckoned with. That's why I say that Ruth Foster is without question the most influential person in baseball history. That makes a lot of sense just because of all the uh, work that he did towards it. So he's a pitcher in first base. Okay. Anything special? Oh, he's a better, better plays better in day games. Okay. But yeah, we got another, got another player. So we're up on that as well.